If you're looking for some extra practice on comparing mixed numbers, you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you four examples of mixed numbers, and I want you to tell me which one is greater. If you remember from my previous video, the first step in comparing mixed numbers is to look at the whole number. If the whole numbers are the same, then you move on to comparing the proper fraction portion. The easiest way to compare the proper fraction portion is by performing cross multiplication. I love, love, love cross multiplication. Sure, you can take the time to put fractions into equivalents, and knowing how to do that is really important. But when it comes to getting the answer in the least amount of time, cross multiplication is the way. The four examples are shown here. Pause the video, work them out for yourself, then unpause to see how I solve them. Example one, compare one and three eighths to two and one sixth. I told you in the beginning, the first thing to do is look at the whole numbers. Two is bigger than one, so two and one sixth is greater than one and three eighths. Now that's it for the easy ones. Let's look at the mixed numbers now when the whole numbers are exactly equal. Example two, compare four and three fifths to four and two thirds. We see that our whole numbers are the same, so let's focus on the proper fraction portion. We can cross multiply the proper fraction portions and that means multiplying three times three, which is nine, and five times two, which is 10. We know that 10 is bigger than nine, so four and two thirds is greater than four and three fifths. Example three, compare five and three fourths to five and 10 fifteenths. Both whole numbers are the same, so let's isolate our proper fractions. We multiply three times 15 and we get 45. We multiply four times 10 and we get 40. 45 is greater than 40, so five and three fourths is greater than five and 10 fifteenths. Last example, compare three and three sevenths to three and four thirteenths. Again, whole numbers are the same, so let's move to the proper fraction. Three times 13 is equal to 39. Seven times four is equal to 28. 39 is greater than 28, so three and three sevenths is greater than three and four thirteenths. How did you do? If you got them all right, drop me a comment and let me know. For more practice problems on comparing mixed numbers, head on over to my website at improvemath.com and grab a free printable worksheet. For more math videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.